So as I'm writing this script, I'm currently sitting in jury duty. Well, the assembly room at least, and I didn't bring anything to keep me entertained, so I thought I might as well write something while I'm waiting. And let's be clear, I won't complain about jury duty, but I will complain about all the waiting that happens with it. Oh, and I will just say this one thing though, a great way to trigger someone's social anxiety is to summon them for jury duty to talk about their experiences. That's it. Just needed to say that as I wait anxiously, and waiting kind of happens with everything we do, like going to the doctors, about 50% of my time being there is just waiting to be called to take my vitals and waiting for the doctor to finish with their other patients. But anyways, as I sit and wait for something amazing, I guess, let's just keep tabs about how long this takes. I was thinking about just telling you about my experience afterwards, but I think it's more entertaining by keeping a live diary-like thing. Last time I had a jury summoning, it almost took a full work day to finish, and 80% of it was just waiting. When I got to my courtroom, I was excused, I swear not even 10 minutes later. Feeling sleepy. Got here around 8.15, now just sitting and waiting. I mean, at least they put something on to watch so I'm not just running in the battery on my phone because to be honest, my charge is only about 50% right now. But they put on Food Network and now I'm really hungry. It is now 9.56. Kind of sad. They said a bailiff would come and get us, but half an hour later, still no bailiff. They made another announcement that one was coming again, but they got my hopes up once. Can I actually trust them? Skeptical. I also feel kind of bad. I was eavesdropping on a conversation of two people next to me. They were talking about how advanced technology was getting, and honestly, I agree. But I was blinking out for a majority of their conversation. I was just hearing voices talking. I also think I recognize someone I know from middle school and high school. But I feel awkward because I'm not sure if they remember me or even know who I am, honestly. It's now 11 and they finally took us to the courtroom, but we're taking a recess and I'm glad someone else made the comment they needed to use the restroom because I'm probably carrying a pound of pee in me. I was lucky, as they were calling numbers for the juror box, all I kept hearing was, that's not me, that's not me, that's not me. This trial seems very interesting though, and I'm having a much better experience this time around compared to the last time I had jury duty. The judge seems really relatable and is making the air less tense while doing voir dire voir dire i need to look up how to say that it's kind of weird listening to people's lives i feel like i know more about their personal life than people i'm close with i mean obviously i don't remember anything but still i'm free it's like noon now i wasn't chosen at all which i'm happy and sad about to be honest, I thought being on this trial would have been really cool, seeing how our justice system works and all. Happy because now I can calm down. I was never chosen, not even as an alternate, but now I can finally go home. Actually, this round wasn't so bad. Maybe it wasn't as bad because of COVID, so we only had our group inside the jury assembly room. So that was my day at jury duty. Wow. So entertaining. AKA, I'm bored. <laughs> So I made this into a video. In my opinion, we shouldn't be so upset about jury duty. I mean, it is an inconvenience having to dedicate our time, and for some reason you always get summoned when the timing is bad. But unless there's a legit reason, we shouldn't lie just to get out of it. As people who advocate for a better justice system, and while jury duty definitely isn't the cure-all for injustice, I think it helps that we as citizens actually have a say in our local community. But again, that's just me. What do I know about anything? Mm -hmm.